What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance Wars Season 28, War Number 9, where SAS goes against Matrix. And I think I have one buddy in this alliance. What up, Brian? Good to see you. Thank you for, or sorry, Insidious Rage. Thank you for fun banter before this war. And yeah, it's always interesting to see what's going on. Um, yeah, my phone was just being crazy, clicking all the buttons. I was literally just trying to enter my team in here. And that was all that was trying to happen here. But my phone's like, no, let's just click here and click there. Anyways, I'm joining somewhat on time of this war. And the three attackers I have are Ghost, Wasp, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I was, I think I'm on path nine for this war. No, sorry. I'm on path three and then path nine. That's right. So path three has one fight, Vision Arcus. And then path nine has two fights, possibly three if I um, am going to be taking that third fight. And then I have a mini boss, which is kind of why you're here, isn't it? Anyways, um, yeah, this is a very, it's an interesting war. I, I hate Window of Opportunity Stun. It's, a, it's the least favorite of the lanes I've ever taken in my life. I don't like it because there's a chance if you parry, you're done and you die. So I'm always scared of parrying. Um, I'll probably be taking that bishop with ghost. I know I've heard, so I can't really take any special threes. And then, oh my gosh, there is that Magneto on Hazard Shift mini boss and True Focus. So obviously, I can't ghost that fight. And I didn't bring Red Hulk. I brought Black Widow. So she'll be taking that fight. She'll be taking that Venom and that Arcus. And Ghost has that Dark Hawk and the Bishop. Which I am pretty scared of Path 9, I'll be honest. Because, again, I've been on that path before and I've died on it numerous times a few seasons ago. By parrying on accident, by scooting back and trying to block and turn into a parry. So, yeah, it wasn't very fun. But anyways, I'm going to boost up and hopefully take the next three to four fights. If I can get to that Bishop, awesome on these boosts. If not, it's okay. If I can get somehow all the way to that Magneto on these boosts then I am God. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I'm joining 10 hours into the war. As you see, everyone's already done moving in section one. Um, I had joined, I think, six hours ago and just hadn't moved yet because I had gym and um, I had work, so I wasn't able to move. And yeah, I didn't want to move when I was in a rush because then I know that things are going to go bad. Anyways, the first two fights are Black Widow Clairvoyant fights. I am going to put on some Mystic Boosts. And some nice heavy boosting, as I always do for Alliance War, because we're in Masters, and when you're in Masters, you always heavy boost. And of course, you put on that XP boost, because you have to. I think Next War is the only war I don't put them on, I think. But anyways, we're in War 9 right now. We're talking about War 9, so let's go with War 9. First fight, Blackwell Clairvoyant versus Arcus. My goal here is to throw SB2s, and I'm good to go. Don't get armor broken, because if I get armor broken, I'm going to get cold snapped while he has power gains up. Kind of my goal is to turn off power gains. But I'm not sure why I did a 4-hit combo there. Um, but this note also has a 95% chance to not be able to nullify. So that's why I'm not nullifying those power gains. Um, I have to put on my Fate Seal, which I'm, I should have put on right here. But I put on my Fate Seal and I'm good to go. Now he has, no longer can get power gains. or uh, um, that power, And the armor up is gone now. And we're good to go. So now that I'm getting power back... I'm just super excited. And I think I have Suicides on right now also for this fight because I was convinced by Dreamin to keep Suicides on for this fight and the whole war because why not? Because Black Lotus Clairvoyant just is great with Suicides and as is Ghost. So why not put Suicides on? But yes, I did take a combo in the beginning of that fight. So it didn't go that well. Um, I did that combo to switch over to Poison Phase to turn off the poison from Suicides. And then I tried to back up, but I couldn't do it in time. So I'm going to potion up. I think I put two... I'm trying to put a big potion in. But I'm going to put in three potions here. So I'm going to heal up 18,000. Because I took a lot of damage in that fight. My goal here is to definitely not parry. I have an invon boost on. But that won't do much. <laughs> it really won't. With suicides on, my limber is like 2 out of 5 right now. So yeah, this guy has suicide. So that was a huge surprise. Huge surprise. I'm like, dude, Master's War and this guy is running suicides? What is going on? So yeah, I have my special two ready. I'm in poison phase. I'm going to just not worry about his power and just throw special twos in poison phase. 
Um, I have another special two ready again due to um, the power back boost and just the fact that I'm power stealing. It's great and two special twos and it's over. That one went really well. So well. I think I only lost health from suicides and maybe even block damage. But anyways, on to this next fight. It's Darkhawk. This is my first ghost fight of this war. And again, my goal here is don't parry because if I parry on window of opportunity stun, it's over. Because he's just going to combo me, put me in the corner. And once I'm in my corner and I'm just not able to parry, it's over. So I'm putting on my tech boosts for the next two fights. I'm going to put on a power star one boost, hoping to be able to use it for the two fights, not just one. Um, and yeah. Um, I think I'm trying to look to see what boost I have. I have a 12% boost. I'm moving over to that to do some big damage special twos. And I do make one mistake in this fight. One mistake. Um, we'll get there when we get there. But it doesn't really cost me too much. It just makes the fight take a lot longer. And we're losing pretty bad right now. So the fact that I'm using all my boosts when we're losing this bad, it just shows how committed I am. Um, in many other alliances that I've been in, when you're losing this bad and you know that the war is not going to be a win, typically they say save your boost for the rest of the season. But attack bonus really matters for Masters. For the final two or three spots in Masters, if your attack bonus is way lower and you died a lot more times in season, then there's a chance that you'll not make those master spots. It'd be in plat. So yeah. Um, right when the stun up or the wind opportunity turns off, I stupidly throw a heavy right here. There's my mistake. I was like, oh, I'm good. I can throw a heavy. And then throw get a fury up and throw a special. And then I forgot. Knocking this guy down turns on his auto block timer. Which does nothing for me at all. Now I have to wait out his auto block timer and not parry at all. Can't touch him here. Can't get put in my, in my corner because if I get stuck in my corner, I'm screwed. That was so dumb. I should have just thrown special twos in a row because I had a power back boost ready and it just I did no damage because of the fact it just couldn't. Um, and I think you can't like really dodge out of that anymore, but throwing a big special two right here because I'm not dumb anymore. That fight would have been done in 30 seconds and it was done in a minute. So that wasn't very fun. So coming out of that fight, knowing I was stupid, going into this next fight, fight number four of this war, goes to Bishop. This is on kinetic transference. Um... Not a pretty node. I'm still stupid boosted. Also, Feet of Indestructible 2. So if and when I get a special 2, I need to wait it out. Because he's going to get an indestructible during that time. And this fight, I'm not going to lie. My heart was racing. I pooped my pants 10 times during this fight. Maybe not. But if I were to, it would have been on this fight. Because watch what happens. You will see. It, it just I just went crazy in the middle of this fight. I get a special 2. He's indestructible. I'm like, cool. I got to wait this out. And with connect transfers, I can't just block. So I could have ran in there. I didn't. I'm just going to phase here. Throw a special 2. Hopefully, I get another special 2 back. Got to wait out the indestructible again. That second hit was indestructible. It sucks. But he throws a special 1. Watch this. Oh, crap. His power bar is over 3 bars. Oh. I was like, dude, I thought for sure he had a special 3 there. I was so scared. I'm like, dude, he went over three bars of power with Planet Transfer for my special one. But this shows that Bishop is not good for this node. Because watch this. Boom, over three bars of power. Oh, I was so worried there and scared. I'm like, all right, well, this fight's over now. We're good. Just going to throw a special one to finish this fight off. Um, hopefully, if I can get to my special one, then it's for he throws his. Special one done, and he's dead. So... My goal could have been to just throw a special ones in that fight and not worry about indestructible because I think I could have done a lot of damage with special ones. Um, but because that's my that was my last ghost fight of the war, supposed to be, um, and I was so scared seeing him go over three bars of power. I was so scared. I'm like, dude, I was supposed to die in that fight. Now onto the main event, the fifth and final fight of this war: Black Widow Clairvoyant versus Magneto on Hazard Shift. My goal here is to get into incinerate phase while he is in his incinerate phase for hazard shift and to just burst him down with special twos in a row. I have power back boost. I'm going to do a bunch of damage. I'm going to put an inbound boost on just in case I get hit um, or in case I need to really turn off his, his unstoppable from his heavy because this is a stun immune fight. So it's going to be difficult. 
Um, as long as I can throw a special, then I can basically turn off all of his unstoppables, and I, it's just good to go because I can bait heavy attacks with bait combos. Um, that's my goal in this fight: is just get to a special two, and just put on the fate seal on him from special two, no matter what phase I'm in. Um, I think I still have two that on also. And this is a messy fight. This fight is one of the main reasons why I do not like playing Black Widow Clairvoyant on Hazard Shift. I just don't. The main reason I don't... She is great for Hazard Shift. There's, she's always one of the top options for Hazard Shift. But I don't like playing her on Hazard Shift because you have to wait out the whole phase. Yeah, you can hit into the block, but if you hit them on accident, you just took damage. Because it, it, like, odds are that 30% of taking a debuff goes to 100%. It's just so dumb. So yeah, I get intercepted off, and I should have done a full combo there, but I couldn't because he's in an incinerate phase. I hit him again. Um, I'm pushing him back. I'm trying my best to turn off that, that poison and get into his poison phase and my poison phase. Trying to get him to intercept off. It's not working. I'm trying to intercept him. He just he just won't bait, and it's just not going well. That poison's still on me. Finally, I can turn off the poison phase. Uh, I'm not sure why I just blocked that. I think I just didn't want to take it to, like, a combo to the face. And watch this. I run in here. I, I'm going to run into one of his heavy attacks because I am just an idiot. Because I see how long his heavy is taking, and I run into it. Because um, I really want to get my in, and it's not working. I'm trying to push him back because I don't want to be in my corner. But there is a trick, which I should have worked on, that I saw Super Sam do from 4Loki and a few other people do. It's called the wall bank. You go into your wall, and you bait his heavy, and you throw a light attack to turn off his unstoppable. And I should have done that, but I didn't. And right there, I ran into it. It took a full combo to the face. I'm like, dude, a heavy attack to the face. I'm at like 20% health in this fight now. 20% health left. And he's at like 80%. This is not good. And I have to throw my pistol three to get my adrenaline back because I just, I won't be able to take the block damage. And right here, I was, I was not happy. Because I'm not in my incinerate phase. I'm still not there yet. And I need to get into my incinerate phase. I need to get to my pistol two. It's just not working. <laughs> Man, um, I'm trying to get my in here. It's not working. I'm, I'm trying to get my, like, I know the moment I get my, in, my intercept, the fight's over. I'm good to go. But I just can't get there. I'm not in incinerate phase. And I know if I run in on another heavy, this fight is over. Because I ran in on a combo, and he threw a heavy attack at me. That was ridiculous. Now I have to wait out poison phase. I'm at 23% health. This is not good. Not good at all. I'm almost in assassin's range for myself. This is ridiculous. My indestructible boost is gone. He's finally back to incinerate phase. Time to get an intercept. It's not working. Let's go. Intercept right. Nope. Still not an intercept. Uh, we are two minutes into this fight. Oh, man. Now I got to wait out this phase again. I mean, I am in poison phase, so it's okay. But it's just not working. I'm at like 17, 18% health right now. I can't afford any more block damage. Intercept. Nope. I think... This next combo is when I finally get the intercept. Not here. It's right. I th nope, not there. I thought it was. Bait out special one. Got to wait this out again. I'm just, I'm just like, I know I'm doomed to this fight. I know I am. He's at 55. I'm at 17% health. I know I'm doomed. I thought I screwed back there too early. I thought I was screwed. Waiting for him to throw a special one. He's not throwing it. What a jerk. Um, I was going to run in there and then stop again. I couldn't. I'm just trying to get my intercept. Can't get it. Oh, man. I am, I'm just not feeling well. I know I have to wait out. Like, there's my step. Finally, incinerate phase. Finally. I finally have a special two ready. Now I know that once he's in incinerate phase again, I can just throw it against him. But I also have suicides. I'm at 16% health, so I can only afford two specials. Not three at all. I know I can only afford two. Finally, I have a special two ready. Intercept him with it. Boom. Power back boost gets me another special two almost. Um, block damage gets me to a special. My fate steal turns off as unstoppable. Special two. He is down. Oh my gosh. With 10% health left. That fight was close. It was a three and a half minute fight. I was not happy with that fight. And yeah. Two fights that I was just so messy with. We ended up losing this war to Matrix. Congrats to you guys. I it, This was just a messy war for me. And I'm glad I didn't die. Because I've already died twice this season. And any more than that is just ridiculous imposterous, any other word that Dreamin would use. Um, but yeah, we're at 47 and 2 this season. We did use 8 potions this war, so we're at 45 potions this season. We're at 4 and 5 now, so now we have more losses than wins, and we are now in Platinum 1. No longer Masters. Ghost is 
still the main attacker of this season with Archangel trailing slowly behind. And it's just, I'm hoping I don't die anymore this season. I'm hoping we can win the next three wars for 10, 11, and 12 so that we can stay in Masters and just be comfortable. If we don't, it's fine. We'll do it as a, an alliance. We know some people are just burning out and it's just, it's, it's a hard season. Um, but we got this. Thank you for coming to our Warrior Videos. This is Coop. Sign off. He happy gaming.